officials, including a Form 4 student from St. Joseph's Ganjala Secondary School in Funula, Busia County, have been sent home for refusing to shave because of their faith. The girls who are members of the Message of the Hour Assemblies Church in Matthias were paraded in front of other students then asked to leave the school compound. Their parents have decided to seek legal help for their daughters to go back to school. Barely a month after a student was denied admission at Olympic High School in Kibra for sporting dreadlocks and being a member of Rastafarians, another six girls in Funula, Busia County, have been kicked out of school because of their long hair that is in line with their faith. Allegedly, the girls who are members of the message of the Our Assemblies Church in Matayos were paraded in front of the other students, then asked to leave the compound of St. Joseph's Ganjala Secondary School immediately after after they refuse to cut their hair. Sisi tunaamini kwamba wanawake wasinyoe nywele lakini nywele zao siwe safi. The six students are spread across form 2, form 3 and form 4. Their parents who fellowship at the message of the our church say their faith doesn't allow girls to shave their head. They have asked education CS Amina Mohammed to intervene since the attempts to have the girls back to school have completely failed. Tutaanza namna gani kutafutia watoto transfer kwa sababu imani yao ni ya kumaintain nywele na liwe safi. Basi tumekuwa tunangangana, kile ofisi tunaenda hatusaidiwi. Tumangaika na watoto vile wako hivi, kila siku tuko kwa barabara for three good weeks. Hakuna mtu anatusikiza ofisi ya cabinet secretary Amina Mohamed, eh, ichukua hatua ya haraka ili tuone hawa watoto wamerudi shuleni. The parents insist they inform the school management about their faith when the six students were joining from one. They also wonder why the school has taken years to ask the students to shave. The furious parents have threatened to seek legal redress. Watoto wamesoma primary yote wakiwa hivo. Wakati tuliwaingisa shule ya upili, tulieleza shule hiyo imani yetu. Watoto wakasign admission wakaingia shuleni wakiwa na nywele. Bo hili mezindikana. Kwa hivyo sasa, sasa tunapanga kuenda mahakamani ili tuwese kuona kwamba sheria za inchi sinaweza kutusaidia na muna gani. The six students remain at home as their parents continue to search for a lasting solution to their predicament. Willi Lusigekete News in Busia.